All right, well, yeah, um, they, let I'm me ask you about Joe Swinson. Yeah. Um, yeah. She's earlier today, she held a, a rally and uh, promised to revoke Article 50 on day one. How do you feel about that? Well, I think that's that's two fingers. It's 17.4 million British people who voted to leave the European Union in a democratic referendum. Now, if she says she'll do this if she becomes prime minister, that's a decision for the British people. There'll be lots of opinion polls. There was one out this morning that says the Liberals will probably win 25 seats. So if that's vaguely accurate, she's unlikely to be the Prime Minister, I think. But I think what really will offend a lot of people is the sheer arrogance of it. We had a referendum. We promised to abide by the result. She's saying, if I become Prime Minister on day one, I'm going to stick two fingers up at all of you. I, you know, that's neither Liberal nor Democratic, is it? Well, uh wouldn't it be democratic if if she were, and it's a big if, but if she were to take power, become prime minister, surely she would then have a mandate. It would be possibly an, a, a political surprise of enormous proportions. But if she got into number 10, then surely she'd have a democratic mandate to do that. Well, as you say, people can decide. I mean, at the Liberal Democrat conference, an MEP called Giva Hofstadt, who's from the Liberal grouping within the European Parliament. He's important because he's the European Parliament's sort of lead negotiator on all this, so he's a player in this. He went to the Lib Dem conference, said that Britain should be part of, these his words, a European empire, and was cheered to the rafters. I mean, the Lib Dems are absolute Euro fanatics. So people would presumably know what they were voting for if in this circumstance, I know, again, it's a big if, but Joe Swinson becomes Prime Minister, revokes on day one. Would you accept that, though, because the, the people have spoken? Well, I'm a Democrat, but I think it's probably unlikely that yeah. Joe Swinson will be the Prime Minister. I, I the said unlikely, point, yes, but would you accept it? Well, as I say, I, I, I'm a Democrat. But look, so you Ian would. Austin... Well, Ian Austin is a former Labour member of Parliament. He was all over the media yesterday. In his words, on the 13th of December, one of two people will be the Prime Minister of this country, either Boris Johnson mm. or Jeremy Corbyn. Again, in his words, but, yes, Jeremy but Corbyn... that's just his opinion. To be Prime Minister. Well, well, it is, but he's he's been Labour man and boy mm. for 40 years. But you would... You, you, let me ask you about Boris Johnson then. What would he do on day one? About Brexit? Well, well, he would immediately kick in to get the bill back into Parliament as soon as possible, because obviously you need to form Parliament, you need to have a, another state opening. And then we get the cracking on with the bill, and as soon as we've got it through both houses, we can leave by mm. the end of January. 